Hello everyone, um, well, what is geocaching? Now, I know a lot of you have asked me tons of questions on all my geocaching posts. Some of the caches I find, um, I post videos, um, of my, me finding them, and, um, you guys are like, what is that? And, pl can please someone tell me what this is, and I don't get it, what is it? Well, I'm here to answer that today. So basically what it is, is it's just, um, use GPS coordinates. I have some written down in my hand from another cache I placed. I hid some. But um use GPS coordinates to find treasures and treasure those treasures are called a cache. And if you take something out, you also leave something along with signing a logbook. And some caches are so small they only have a logbook and some are so big they um, have tons of stuff in them. So yeah, I'm going to take you through the um, official geocaching website and uh, show you what it is. So let's uh, hop on over to geocaching.com. Okay, so now I am on the official geocaching website. Now, um, I'm going to take you through everything you need to know on how to, um, s um, well, sign ups. That's basically easy, but, um, or basic and easy, I should say, but um, I'm going to take you through what geocaching is. Now, if you click on getting started, which you should since, you know, you have no idea what, um, you're doing. Um, basically, geocaching uh, is a worldwide game of hiding and seeking treasure. A geocacher can place a geocache in the world, pinpoint its location using GPS technology, and then share the geocache's existence and location online. Anyone with a GPS device can then try to locate the geocache. So it's very, very fun. And so, uh, if I were to um, do exactly what it said there, and hide um, one of my own caches. You would go over here and um, hide your cache. But I'm not logged in because um, I don't want to be. It's just easier for this tutorial. And plus, you could see my location. So, you know, I really don't want to have you guys stalking me, even though you love me. Um, So, and basically, it's, I know most of you are just going to be um, seeking caches. So, let's go to a uh, state. Um, California, that's a nice state. Um, go. So, if you're on the website, you can seek the caches like that. You can find them. So here, this is this seems interesting. Okay. So now, and so okay. Um, I just had to log in there, but you can't see my username, so it's I don't really care. Um. So. Um see this cache these are the coordinates right here and um, if you want to see where it is on the map you just click the map over here and there it is bam right there so it's probably in some woods there's probably some woods off here and if you even want to go in further in depth you can take these coordinates over to Google oh by the way this is just like planning ahead of time before you go see the cache Planning your route or planning um what it's what it's gonna look like once you get there. Okay, so here nice satellite imagery of exactly where the cache is. So then you can zoom in and see. Oh, I was wrong. Well, that that actually I would like to find that one. It's a uh, pretty cool. It looks like it's hidden by a one tree in like a kind of a shopping um shopping area right off the street. So yeah, that's where the cache is. Now, it says the difficulty, if you would look up here, it's one star. And it goes one is the easiest, five is the hardest, obviously. And then terrain is also one star, so it's a very easy cache. And the size, it's not chosen. So that's uh, kind of weird. That the size is not chosen, I guess it's just, uh, guys, too, uh, it might be between one size, you just doesn't know what to put, whatever. So, and then, if you scroll down, it's um there there are these logs and now see this guy only has um he just published it so I guess it's pretty new um but if you were to look at a older cache um say see there are all these logs about the cache so this cache is a great one thanks for the fun uh thanks for the fun and they might even have some hints in the cache um also you can decrypt a hint which um 
see, he's not even a hint, but you need to figure it out. So you can figure it out by hand, or there's just an easy decrypt button. And it says the hint is not on the ground. Obviously, I would have already thought that because the title is hanging by the thread. So that's just kind of things you need to look out for when you're doing guys. You got to be creative. And description also helps because sometimes that gives hints. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, once you're done with that, you can um get the coordinates and open them into your GPS software if you happen to have GPS software um, I have a uh, um, I have a GPS and an iPhone app and I I just use the iPhone app I always use it I never use my GPS because the iPhone is very great, great on the go and you can just look um, look around you know without going online and you guys have already seen my review of that, so it's all good. Now, there are um, tons of things you can do. You can find nearby geocaches. So yeah, that's what the, um, you've already seen that review. <clears throat> but, um, so yeah, once you do that, you just send the uh, coordinates to your uh, GPS. So yeah, then you can um, find it and log about it. So that is um, geocaching. Log book and toys. 